Florence, Italy, 2002. Using infrared diagnostic techniques, Dr. Maurizio Serracini uncovers the underdrawing, or preliminary sketch, done by Leonardo da Vinci for his unfinished painting, Adoration of the Magi. Commissioned in 1481, the work depicts the biblical story of the three wise men visiting the infant Jesus in Bethlehem. But by viewing the painting with this new technology, it becomes apparent that Leonardo's original sketch actually included many more details than those that could be seen with just the naked eye. The first time I aimed the camera, the infrared camera to the, uh, to the adoration, uh, I felt very privileged. Because for the first time in 500 years, I managed to see probably the best creativity effort of Leonardo on a work of art. And science can help you to go back like if you were in a time machine. And I saw dozens of uh, figures fighting horses, um, nature, uh, architecture. And now my eyes alone could not see them because they were covered by a brownish monochrome layer of paint that later I understood was not applied by Leonardo. In the background of the top left, you could see a couple of uh, people sitting in despair on stairs of the temple in ruins. Well, aiming the camera at the scene, then uh, suddenly a completely different view came up. The detail that was painted over was a scene of a pagan temple that was rising up through the ruins of a Christian church. And this was considered problematic during the Renaissance period with Christianity as the one and only true religion. Upon close examination of da Vinci's original sketch, instead of a temple in ruins, the artist seemed to be depicting a scenario in which an Egyptian temple is being rebuilt. Most notable is the fact that one of the temple columns is capped by a lotus flower, which in ancient Egypt represented the so-called flower of life. The flower of life is the information behind how the universe was created. Everything in the universe is geometric. Sacred geometry implies that there is intelligence behind it. It's believed by mystics to be a symbol of advanced superconsciousness, a way of plugging into the knowledge possessed by extraterrestrial beings. Da Vinci, we can fairly say, was practically obsessed with it. And one wonders if da Vinci actually tapped into the ultimate cosmic secrets represented by the flower of life.